The family of Deanne Warner, the missing Lenawee County woman, took another hit today when their barn caught fire. The state fire marshal is now investigating. Christy Gerlett went to Tipton, Michigan to talk to the family and brings us this WTOL 11 exclusive. The barn is on fire. That is what Deanne Warner's nephew said when he saw the flames. Take a look behind me. You can have an idea of just how big this barn was. As we zoom into the tractor over there, you can see the cleanup has already begun. We talked to the Sand Lake Fire Department. They were first on scene. They said they received a call around 1145 last night. When they arrived, there was already heavy flames. The show barn caught fire. The maternity barn was on on fire and so were some offices over 20 cows were killed most of which were pregnant the total loss estimated to be over at least a million dollars nine local fire departments in total came to help put out the flames they said it took five hours to get the fire under control and another five hours to get the fire completely out I spoke to Greg Hardy, who was in the middle of court proceedings to have his sister Deanne declared deceased. He said he has a lot of questions. We want to know what happened here, how this happened. There is no logical reason by observation why this should have taken place. There wasn't a power box failure. There wasn't anything like that. There wasn't a lightning strike. There wasn't anything like that to indicate what the cause was. So that's why we're heavily encouraging the state fire marshal to be engaged. The Lenawee County Fire Investigation Unit was on scene earlier today. They said it is too early to know the cause of the fire. And as you just heard, the state fire marshal is now taking over the investigation. Reporting in Tipton, Michigan, Christy Gerlet, WTOL 11.